Hey guys, this is Ryan Redeemed. I'm here today at the Polk Outreach. It's located on 38th Street in Van Buren. And it's every Monday at 6 p.m. I am here with the captain of the outreach, Patrick, and he would like to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. my name is Patrick Dawson. I'm here the captain. Been the captain for about a year and a half now. Been an awesome outreach, man. Once I took this outreach over, it's kind of God that's been uh, spreading the anointing from me to the outreach, and uh, it's just been awesome, man. Uh, a little bit about what we do at this outreach. Um, I kind of break it up a little bit just to touch the souls, the lost souls, and bring them to Jesus Christ. Uh, my technique I like to do was, you know, just branch the guys off, uh, the disciples off to like uh, a group of five. Some go to pray for other people and to reach souls and ask them how they're doing. And we got also got bringing the word and we also have people serving them, you know, bringing the food to them and just being compassionate just like how Jesus did did to us, you know. Uh, it's just been awesome here, man. As I said, um, it's an awesome outreach. I recommend you to try, you know, if you if try one day, if, if it don't, if it's not your cup of tea, give it back to me. Because I know Jesus is working. Amen. With all that said, I get back to Ryan, man. I'll see right, you there. Brother. Thanks, bro. Uh, we hope to see you guys soon. God bless. Have a great day. <laughs> the fact that our Savior hung on the cross for our sins, died, and three days later, God raised Christ from the dead. The stone was rolled away, and the body was no longer in the grave. Without the resurrection, the crucifixion means nothing. Without the resurrection, the crucifixion means nothing. It doesn't say believe in your heart that Christ was crucified. It says believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Okay, well, I believe that. Really, do you? Do you believe that somebody was in the grave for three days and then just came, suddenly came back to life? Okay, by the power of God, that's what Scripture says. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Now, see, that's where it lies. You've got to believe that in your heart. Well, how do I know if I believe it? Okay, I say I believe it. There's scripture after scripture. There's uh, there's one in Ephesians, I believe it's 2:11, that says we are created in Christ Jesus. We are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Another says that faith without works is dead. That as the, as, as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead. There's going to be evidence in your life that you believe. Yo, what's up? My name is Jose. I'm here at the Polk Outreach. Um, pretty much everybody helps out, feed people. They People from different churches come and they work as a team and as a unit. I'm, I'm blessed myself for helping people and making a difference in the community. And I hope you guys uh, try to get involved in your communities as well. And yeah, have a good day. Amen, amen. Okay, and can you tell me how many pieces there is to the armor of God? Six pieces for the armor of God. Good job. Okay. Two. Okay. We have memorized the pieces and
and we have movements to go along with it to help you memorize, right? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to make a movement and you tell me what it is. Alright, so what's this? The helmet. The helmet. The helmet, that's right. And what about this? The, uh, the feet. The feet. The minute feet. Alright. How about this? The sword. The sword of spirit. Good job. Hey, it's Jose. We're at the Polk Outreach. You gotta come here to experience this. This is enlightening, you know? This is Jesus. This is salt of the earth. This is the light. And uh, we are here cooking up some hot dogs. And uh, let me tell you, this, this outreach just is changing this community for the better. Hi, my name is Nicole. We're on the Polk Outreach, giving away clothes for the, um, for the needy. And with this outreach, does for me is it helps me to be a sense of feeling that I am doing good for the community and others and for the work of God and his people and just being here and helping others. Amen, amen. What's your name? Um, my name is Michael Lynn and um, I like coming to the Polk Outreach. It's it's uh, It feels really festive, you know, their church uh, comes together with our church and a bunch of people from the street and we give out all kinds of food and all the clothes. Hey man, man, we got a wide variety of clothes here. And it's just really good because all kinds of people, you know, families, um, uh, men and women and children and all that, they come and they take the clothes and we, we try to just um, have it all get taken home. And, Hallelujah. Um, yeah, we get a lot of donations and um, yeah, people keep coming back because they see how much we're helping the community and they, they know that they can always get food and clothing here. Amen. It's, it's really great. I love it. Amen, amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I know. from my kidney stones and from my liver, my heart, 
I've had several, several heart attacks and the Lord has um, healed me. They said like if nothing ever happened, like, I've never used any kind of drug. So I'm thankful for that too, that He restores my sons to me and He continues to restore my family to me. I've been 40 years without one of my sisters and now she's back with us and the whole family's being restored one by one. So I'm thankful for that. And how has this outreach uh, affected this community in a positive way? Uh, many people have come off the street, came into the center, and have accepted the Lord in their life, and beginning new, um, learning new things in their life instead of going back to their old ways that they were. They're coming off the street, being prosperous, and doing more for the community. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hey, guys, doing? My name is Calvin Harrison. I'm coming from San Diego, California, part of the uh, Men's Discipleship Ranch. We came out here to do a little ministry work, and in the process, uh, I had the opportunity to come check out the Polk Street Mission. And what the team is doing is it's, it's amazing, the impact that they're having uh, on a lot of these lives, homeless people, uh, just community itself. It's a really good thing, and they're really showing God's extended hand at work. I think it's a powerful work that they're doing. And when it's souls for Christ, I mean, what more can you ask uh, for a person to do than that? I think that's uh, really being true women of God and men of God. And I just pray they continue to keep the work going uh, and, and having an effect on people's lives. Amen. Amen. Thanks, brother.